exercise six show an image as a background. So the goal is this, is show the image of a chiller as a background of the page and later we will show over the images of the compressors, of the condensing fans and so on. Well, there are three ways to use images. The first is the image add image button in the toolbar. As usual, each option has advantages and disadvantages, pro and cons. Uh, for this option, the advantage is that it is very easy to add image. So, click the button, browse and select the image, ok, finished. The disadvantage is that, for example, if you use five times exactly the same image, they will take uh, five times the space of one in the memory. So, uh, more memory used in the controller, also longer the distribute process uh, and so on. Option two is the add resource. So you right click the resource, add resource, you select uh, the images, the image or the images, and then uh, drag and drop the image from uh, the solution explorer till uh, the workspace. This will create just a link to the image. So the pro and cons are opposite uh, compared to the first option. So the pro is that if you use five times exactly the same image, uh, they will take uh, the space of just one in, uh, in the memory. The disadvantage is that the process, the workflow is a little bit longer because you have to add the resource to the project first and then use it. Anyway, it's not so big difference. Option 3. We can load the image as a real background. So clicking the file setting and in the setting page we can load the file. In this case in an image we can load also um, another page. So a page could be the background of another page, but we will see later on. So in this case the pro is that the image is locked. So you can't move it for mistake. Like in the other examples, you can do it for mistake. The disadvantages is that it's like option one. If you use five times the same image, that will take five times the space. And moreover, if you change the background image, you have to reload it in all the pages. So if you use in five pages, for each you have to open the page, file, setting, change background, load. Open the, ne the next and file, setting, change background and so on. And this uh, takes time. Okay, so here are the three options. In this exercise I will use the option number two. Okay, first of all I can add the images to the project. I have to add the images to the project library, don't uh, add to other libraries. Project, resources, so right click, add resource. So the images are in the folder that we have created in the second tutorial. In my case are in the C Chiller, no, C Web KSA images. Ok, now we need only this. Later, in the next exercises, we will use also others, so we can select all. We can also use Ctrl A to select all. Here are all the images. Open. Here are. And then drag and drop. So the chiller, drag and drop. We can uh, the size is necessary. Ah, I forgot to place uh, in the previous exercise the title. Copy, paste, and uh, change it to 72. 
Ah, by the way. Change also the color to uh, blue. Okay, matter of fact. You can see that you can change the size also in this way. So why use what is the, the, the meaning or the purpose of this option? Since you can change the size from here. The point is that if you change the size using the handles here, you lose the relationship between this number and then this. For example, copy paste. Now I have this text size 36 as well as this. If I change the size in this way, this is still 36, exactly like this. You can't no longer understand the size of the uh, text using this one, because you have a resize. In this case, I use this uh, object, this text only once, so it doesn't matter that issue. Okay, my children's web, very good. I told, you that, I told you that I want to use uh, this image as the ground. Actually, it is already uh, behind this object because I placed this later. So it, we, it uh, has been placed uh, over the other. In the contrary, you can uh, have this condition, uh, not this here, Z order, uh, bring uh, forward, you see that uh, it covers the other. So you can use uh, the right click, uh, that order, bring uh, to back uh, to place it uh, as a uh, background. Anyway, this option is uh, very uh, used by also other editors, also PowerPoint, uh, like this. Okay, change the size. This uh, looks good. Okay, finish. Let's distribute. Say yes. It takes a while because it has to upload uh, the image. Let's try to reload frame. And, uh, and here is uh, the image. Okay, quick summary. The goal was to uh, show the image of a, of a chiller in, as a background. I told you that there are three options to place an image and uh, or to place an image as a background and uh, in this exercise I choose uh, the option number two. So I have uh, right click, uh, I right click the, the resource, add resource, after that uh, simply drag and drop the image from the solution explorer to the page. If necessary, you can use the Z order to send the image or in general a widget uh, back or bring forward compared to others. That's all.